Okay, a quick video of our really old solar panels. These are made by BP, they're model 585. They are 85 watts. Uh, I installed these in 2005 or 2006, I don't recall exactly. These panels were made I think in 2002 or 2003. I bought them used, they were a few years old. As you can see, we don't have a whole lot of light left in the day. This tree over here is starting to shadow my panels. Um, but these panels have been really good. I get uh, their 12 panels, they're 85 watts a panel. And so I get about a 1000 uh, watts peak. You can see my DIY made uh, frames for these panels. Uh, so these panels are 14 years running and I can get uh, eight, 900 watts in direct sun. Um, when I installed these, it was the inspector's first, our city inspector's first solar system that they had inspected. Pretty crazy. Uh, since uh, these, I had this is systems 12 times 85 watts. It's about 1000 watts total. So easy math. Uh, this is about the middle of November and I probably didn't generate much power today. Peak days during the summer, I can get about six kilowatts. Uh, I think I probably average through the year six, I can get six to seven kilowatts on a peak day. Uh, and I probably average four to five, four, five, six, uh, maybe let's call it five kilowatts a day production throughout the year. This is the inverter. This is the inverter. It's a Fronius IG2000. It's a 2000 or maybe it's the 3000. I don't recall which, but uh, it's undersized. I'm generating a thousand watts and this inverter is good for two or 3000. Uh, all the strings are hooked up in series. I mean, all the panels are hooked up into series and they come down in this high voltage cable right here. Um, as I mentioned, uh, I did have the city inspector out. I also had the local utilities out to come in and inspect my system. It was took weeks and weeks and weeks of in, uh, inspections because nobody knew what was going on 14 years ago. Don't know if you'll be able to see that, but right now you can see I'm generating a whole whopping 68 watts. It's about 4.30 in the evening in November. Uh, so yeah, not a whole lot of power right now. And, oh, I don't use this a whole lot. So the day for today, uh, we've generated three kilowatt hours. We've pushed three kilowatt hours uh, back onto the uh, grid. And I'm going to go to total. And this gener <laughs> this grid tie has generated 4.29 megawatts. So I've said I've had this system up and running for about uh, 16 years. Um, but this is my third Fronius inverter. Uh, all of them have been replaced under warranty. They've all failed. I think they're a good inverter. Uh, it's just probably some growing pains uh, when they were new in the industry. Okay, as we can see, high voltage line coming down, they're all in series. I go to this little uh, DC disconnect, which comes to the inverter, which has another DC disconnect. Uh, it does the conversion, it has an AC disconnect, another AC disconnect, and then I'll walk you over to where it actually ties into the home. Uh, this is just a little box that I've installed here and uh, the idea of this is uh, with the grid tie is turned off I can disconnect my grid tie and these are three power supplies running parallel they're actually AC to DC power supplies but they're rated for DC input as well they're rated at like 300 watts each 
and they're rated for running in parallel and so I can generate about 300 I mean sorry about 8 to 900 watts at 12 volts DC uh, and that's just to power some emergency loads and it actually works maybe in another video I'll show what this is here but uh, this little box here is the uh, our generator input to uh, power the okay, house. This is uh, where I tie everything in. So the power out to my shed comes in through a conduit right here, comes into this breaker panel, comes over here to a, another AC disconnect. This is required by code, which then back feeds another, whoops, let me point to the right one, points to another breaker which is backfed and uh, allows another AC disconnect. So I think that's four AC disconnects. 